The New Hampshire primary is over, but the race for the Democratic presidential nomination heating up with some surprises and new front runners. Yeah, Alice Barr has the latest from Manchester, New Hampshire. Some new storylines coming out of the first in the nation primary. Senator Bernie Sanders coming away with the win, though it wasn't quite as commanding as the victory he had here back in 2016 when he had 60% of the vote against Hillary Clinton. This time there's a much broader field up against him, and Pete Buttigieg came in really close behind. He is having a strong surge now, and we've learned that he is actually doubling his staff in the next state, Nevada. He's adding more TV ads there. And then in third place was Amy Klobuchar. She took advantage of a momentum boost that she got after a strong debate performance here just on Friday. That shows you how closely voters were watching this, that that made a difference Friday to the vote just last night. And she is now moving on and expecting she'll be able to keep momentum, raise money to keep her going through this race. Elizabeth Warren, she came in fourth, a little bit of a disappointing finish for her, so she has to figure out what her path forward is going to be. And then Joe Biden, he came in in fifth position, didn't even stick around here in New Hampshire to see the results come in last night. He went straight to South Carolina, where he is expecting that he's going to get that rebound he needs from some of the more diverse states coming down the road. How's it going? Hi, Andrew. But it's the end of the road here for businessman Andrew Yang and for Senator Michael Bennett, both announcing that they are dropping out as this field winnows down and the race heats up to November.